What's good to YouTube? It's your boy Kuro back with another Dragon Ball Z Kakarot discussion video. In today's video, I want to touch on the orb information that we have gotten recently. I want to, you know, give my speculations and thoughts on that. So we're going to be talking about that as well. And I also want to talk about um the soul emblems. Now, I know I touched on these topics when I was doing my reaction, but like when I do these discussion videos, I kind of want to dive more deep into it and kind of dissect it a bit more because I have more time to look over it and just give my, you know, thoughts and opinions. But with all that being said, y'all, let's get right into the video. Okay, so Here's what we have up on screen. We have the, the green orbs, then we have the blue orbs, and then we have the red orbs. To be more specific, shout out to the man, Ken Zyro. Definitely follow him on Twitter. He's been keeping us up to date with all the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot news and just anything Dragon Ball related. So um, if you want to stay up to date on the latest Dragon Ball Z Kakarot news and stuff like that, make sure to get this man a follow because, you know, he helps out the Dragon Ball community so much. And I just really appreciate it. And he's the only reason I've been able to deliver these type of videos to you guys. To be more specific with the orbs, um, he actually said for the, the green orbs is greenery and then the red is land and then the um the blue ones is water and then we have the attribute system or skill tree whatever you want to call it up on screen so what first comes to my mind when i see this um when you look at the green orbs but before i say anything about the green orbs let's just let's take the time to appreciate the vastness and scenery man like yo Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is going to hit so different y'all like it's just going to be so dope because you can you know fly around um I seen where you can like fight dinosaurs and stuff like it's just crazy for a DBZ game and just baby be uh, be able be able to do different side quests and you know explore hidden places throughout the map and stuff like that because we are going to be able to explore Yamcha's house i never seen his house before so i'm definitely gonna go check the check the boy place out check out his crib you know what i'm saying maybe fly over to bowman house real quick <laughs> but um last thing when goku's flying and stuff i just find it very aesthetic looking that you know his clothes and stuff is moving like the air and stuff is animating his clothes and it's kind of like flapping and stuff as well as his hair his hair actually does move because you can tell by his hair it's not like all stuff and stuff it's like you know kind of flying backwards because of the wind pushing it back and stuff and i don't know it's a well visual aesthetic looking game but like I was saying before I digressed, when you first look at the green orbs, come on now, y'all can't tell me like for in the attribute system, I feel like it's gonna be towards your health because anytime you see green, you know what I'm saying, green health bar, green orbs, green health bar, green orbs, you get what I'm saying? So like, I feel like the green orbs are gonna be towards your health so you can mix up your health each time you level up and collect more orbs as you play throughout the dragon ball z kakarot game so that's what i feel like the green orbs are going to be for i feel like you probably like i said what i think is you'll only be able to find the green orbs in the greeny greenery areas and stuff like that you know basically anywhere that has mostly grass and mostly trees and stuff like that you probably only find these green orbs in those type of areas so i'm definitely be trying to farm up those um green ores because in dragon ball z kakarai health is going to be a very very important thing because you got to go up against the bosses and stuff like that they're going to have super armor and they're just going to be throwing all type of missiles and 
attacks and things of that nature and you got your health got to be up there to withstand that so i strongly encourage you guys to farm up the green orbs to max out your health to ensure your success in every fight next up we have the blue orbs like i said you will only probably find these type of orbs in uh watery areas and again look at the look at the vastness of the scenery man it's just yo <laughs> yo actually this shot right here this shot right here reminds me of the budokai 2 opening where like goku was like flying out um with you know piccolo and krillin and stuff and it's just very iconic to me that you can actually be doing it yourself in such high quality i'm pretty sure it's the budokai 2 opening if i'm if i'm wrong i definitely correct myself up on screen when i edit this video and look back at it but i'm pretty sure it's budokai 2 opening man that opening was dope <laughs> and what made me to draw to the conclusion of like this speculation and stuff like this it's kind of similar to the dragon ball xenoverse 2 attribute system or just overall the xenoverse 2 i mean it's not the xenoverse 2 the xenoverse um franchise is what i'm trying to say god i'm trying to get my words out y'all know how i do so that is what led me to believe that these orbs will play a role in a game like this so when i see blue automatically i think of your key blast attacks you know your kamehameha's your gallic guns your final flashes your super kamehameha waves and things of that nature you know what i'm saying so i feel like the blue orbs are going to kind of cater to your key blast attacks and a skill tree for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot so you can make your key blast attacks more powerful and inflict more damage on your enemies. So I definitely will be farming these blue orbs up and you know what I'm saying just I'm trying to explore everything out here in the vastness in the watery area. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I'm not going to lie um somewhere around here is probably Kami house because you know how Kami house surrounded by water and stuff like that so I, that's what i would assume now that i mentioned um Kami house i wonder if like they're gonna have scenes in dragon ball z kakarot with master roshi having his like lewd thoughts and lewd scenes with like <laughs> you know like boma and edge 18 and stuff like yo how funny would that be man yo that would be so funny and like creative because i don't think i've seen that in no dragon ball z game to be honest as far as in the storyline of the game because what we've been getting so far is just straight up fighting so i would definitely like to see something that's you know funny and kind of goofy in dragon ball z kakarot's storyline so i definitely would like to see that and last but not least we have the red orbs it's out here where goku and vegeta fought for their first time you know when goku went kaio ken and vegeta was about to blow up the planet and stuff yeah this is that area guys you probably will only find the red orbs and the rocky type of areas better known and classified as the land areas is what king zaro said on twitter so i'm just go by that because he's a very very dependable source so i'm gonna just take his word for it and also you know what I'm saying just put my little spin on it or what i think as well but the real orbs first thing that comes to mind man is your strike skills like your melee attacks you know what i'm saying your meteor combination your your burst rush you know what i'm saying stuff like that that you can do as well like fighting against your opponents and enemies so the rail orbs are definitely gonna play a major role in dragon ball z kakarot as well because thinking about it man like 90 or 99 percent of the time you're gonna be smashing your square button there's just no ifs and buts about it like come on let's be honest now it's it's a dragon ball z game <laughs> you're not getting around not pressing that square button or smashing it man so you these ores are definitely going to be very important in this game as well so you definitely want to farm up these real orbs and i like i like what they did about these orbs and stuff because like it kind of like forces you to explore the open world aspect of the game 
makes you got like fly around and i just think that's a dope way of incorporating that into the game and i also just noticed something so okay you guys see how there's goku's um health bar right there right right up under that there's a blue bar i'm assuming it's going to be your key bar or your gauges to how much you can utilize your attacks you know your key blast attacks your strike attacks and then when, once you run out you have to charge back up so you can use them again i would think so you know you know what i'm saying so let me know what you guys think down below in the comments on that but i literally just pointed that out and you know what i'm saying just gave my thoughts on that and opinion so this is what i definitely think that is and mind you guys um a lot of this stuff is in japanese so some of these things i i could be wrong on but i feel I, I really feel confident that i'm not wrong on these we'll definitely know more information about this as the game continues to approach the release date so on screen now we have the skill tree image it's like i said um i feel like you got your your key blast your strike moves or melee moves whatever you want to call it and your health bar which is the green ones attributes so this will definitely play a major role in the game as well this is going to be overall how you're going to build your character you know what i'm saying or specifically whatever character you're playing as whether they be goku vegeta gohan any of those characters i'm putting pretty much many more and it even has right here what seems to be some type of key blast attack icon right there on the left so automatically i think that's you know your moves and stuff like that but yeah that's all i have for like the skill tree i just wanted to talk about that let me know what you guys think down below in the comments what do you guys think on this um next up we have the soul emblems it's not too much to say about it but i just briefly wanted to talk about it for a quick sec um how you gonna how are you going to attain these soul emblems i'm glad you asked all you have to do man is just literally play through the dragon ball z storyline you know what i'm saying just literally play the game man and you would literally unlock different soul emblems for your character profile so you can be rocking that trunk soul emblem that gohan soul emblem or you might be a man of culture and you want to rock out his boma or lunch <laughs> yo so yeah definitely you want to do that just it's all you got to do is progress through the story and i'm pretty sure you'll be able to unlock many more you know because i seen i definitely remember seeing king code as a solo emblem as well when i watched it trailer you know my trailer reaction on it so i'm definitely thinking you're gonna be able to unlock a lot of soul emblems i mean bro they even got android 18's daughter as a soul emblem so i'm pretty sure there's not gonna be a limit as far as the z saga of course of soul emblems that you can unlock so you know definitely progress through the story i i don't want you guys to be generic rocking the same goku soul emblem man progress through the story and you know what i'm saying be unique and change your soul emblem around and stuff but at the end of the day it's all up to you guys i'm not telling you what you do i'm just you know giving you a suggestion another thing that i wanted to mention too as well a soul emblems will benefit you as well so whatever soul emblem that you have on is it kind of acts like a a z soul or a super soul if i remember correctly from the xenoverse franchise it's gonna give you like power boosts in different categories and stuff like that whether it be the key blast or you know what i'm saying boost up your health or your melee attacks so definitely take advantage of that so you can overall make your character better and here up on screen you can have multiple soul emblems at a time so certain soul emblems that you would have and you combine them together like up on screen now you can unlock special bonuses because i mean look at it right now you see how like goku tn and gohan and piccolo 
and Vegeta are glowing and stuff like that. And it's got like a a plus six or a plus four or you know what I'm saying? Like what you got plus the bonus, you know what I'm saying? So you see how Goku stuff says four and then it's like plus six. So like four, you know, plus six. So it like adds on to it. Different soul emblem combinations will give you boosts and stuff like that. So definitely be on your grind trying to unlock the different soul emblems and stuff like that and head over to the community board and equip them well that's gonna wrap it up for today's discussion video guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the vibes of the video if you did make sure to leave a like on the video and share the video with your homies so more people can see this video and just to overall bring more awareness to the soul emblems to the orbs and the skill tree so they can know more about this type of stuff before the game actually comes out. So it could be a head start ahead of everybody else. And so you will know exactly what to do when the game drops and you can go for a different type of builds. Definitely for the best builds. Definitely expect those type of videos as well when Dragon Ball Z Kakarot drops. Because I would try my best to grind up on this game and try to deliver the best Dragon Ball Z Kakarot videos for you guys. With that being said, uh, I'm gonna instant transmission to my next video. Chill. <laughs>